So I'm here at Marriott Ocean Point in Palm Beach Shores, Florida. Are you considering it for your next trip to the Palm Beaches here? Well, you're gonna to wanna to stick around. I'm gonna take you on a tour right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. Before we jump into this video, going on a walking tour here of Marriott's Ocean Point here in Palm Beach Shores, Florida, I want to let you know on this channel, I provide my knowledge, tips, and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. And even if you don't own timeshare, but you love visiting these fantastic resort properties, I also do villa tours, resort reviews, and resort tours as well. So be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button down below, and also click on that notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. So let's jump into this. We're gonna turn this camera around. We're gonna go on a walking tour here of Marriott's Ocean Point. All right, so here we are at Marriott's Ocean Point. We're at the main entrance here, the main entrance to, when you're driving down here, I believe this is Ocean Avenue. When you're driving down here, you'll turn in here, and the lobby is over there. We'll take a quick look at that here in just a moment, but I do wanna point out if you're a tennis player, you may even have pickleball up there, I'm not too sure. The tennis courts are actually up the street here. Not too far of a walk, but we won't go up and actually take a specific look at those, but if you're wanting to play tennis here while you're at Ocean Point, it's just up the street there. Let's head inside here. We're going to start walking around this actually very large and beautiful resort. So right out here at the main entrance, they do have a nice water feature here. Yeah, so we're here in the main section of the resort, which is Sailfish, Dolphin, Cobia, and Pompano buildings. And then we also have Kingfish, which we'll take a look at last. It's down the street. I'm not actually going to be taking a look at the beach here today because I actually did an entire beach video. If you want to see that, click on the link up there in the upper right. But uh, yeah, we're going to kind of just take a quick walk through the Sailfish building here. Not a whole lot going on in here. All right, inside Sailfish here. We do have a set of stairs that goes up to the Sailfish Lounge. But they do have over here a small business center couple of Macintosh computers and a printer over there. So if you want to come print out any boarding passes, maybe there's something else you need to print out. They do have a small business center right here. Not too much else under here, under the uh, Sailfish building, you do have the elevator lobby. And then under each of the buildings, there is plenty of parking. I'll show you this parking area here. They also have lots of luggage carts and grocery carts there as well. So if you get some groceries, they have grocery carts to get those up to your villa. Yeah, parking under the buildings, inside and out. So definitely a great thing here at Ocean Point. We'll just walk back through the building here. You do need your key card when you're in the elevator to actually scan your key to get up to your floor. ATM right there and just some sitting areas here. We do have the main lobby and registration right here. I'm actually not gonna go in there because it's pretty uninspiring just check-in area, concierge, and a couple of restrooms in there. It's not a great big or grand lobby at all. We're now going to head through this gate to take a look at the sailfish pool first. You do have to swipe your key to get in to the pool areas. All right, so here is the sailfish pool. It's actually made up of two separate pools. A pool here and then another smaller pool over here. But yeah, two pools here that make up sailfish. 
They do have a hot tub over here as well. The great thing about this resort is it has really nice big hot tubs. And you can just see really great pool here at Sailfish. Lots of lounge chairs. Looks like they've brought them all back out. They're not uh, limited anymore. They used to have just 50% of the pool chairs out, but it looks like they've brought them all back. Really good quality pool chairs. Umbrellas, lots of umbrellas. Definitely pretty easy to find a place in the shade here. Of course, if you're here in peak season, it can be difficult. You have to be down bright and early if you're here in, like say, March or April in the summer around any specific holidays because the chairs do get snapped up really easily. There's that hot tub again. And over here, we just have a kind of a small kiddie pool. And over there is where you'll find a set of restrooms. We'll head over that way. Okay, so they do have a set of restrooms over here. And around the corner here, we will come across one of several sets of gas grills that they have around the resort. And we'll see the other ones as we continue on. But definitely a great thing to have some picnic tables and gas grills all stainless steel and in fact they're out here cleaning them this morning something that they do every morning the gas grills are always in great shape always nice and clean when you need to use them all right so now let's continue on all right after taking a look at those grills we're going to walk around here a little more like you can see plenty of pool loungers here Kind of a two-tiered setup i'm up here they actually used to kind of have cabanas up here at one time many years ago but they've removed those in favor of pool chairs so you can kind of see the pools there of sailfish great palm trees out here definitely a nice tropical feeling yeah so here's one last look before we kind of officially leave the sailfish pool area at the sailfish pool it's called the sailfish pool because that's the sailfish building just going up here a little ways we do have a smoking area over here a couple of swings there is an exit to the beach so beach access right here you do need your key room key to get back into the resort some showers here to wash your feet off or shower before you get into the pool and continuing over here we're coming up on on the rocks pool bar and grill it's closed obviously really early in the morning right now so that is closed but it has been open and they do also have plenty of seating out here as well and a couple of fire pits over here so in the evenings they very likely light these up you can come out relax around the fire okay so that is on the rocks pool bar and grill over here we have the pavilion they do actually have it set up right now they're doing their owner reception kind of welcome reception i don't even think it's just for owners but they do that every tuesday at 8 a.m it is socially distanced and right now you actually do have to text them ahead of time so keep that in mind if you want to attend there are instructions in the elevator on how to attend on how to text them to get a spot to attend the welcome reception just kind of walking around here we're walking back past the sailfish pool this is actually the back side of the main check-in and lobby but i did want to bring you over here to just show you a couple of table games that have ping pong and pool over here which for some reason seem awfully close together not sure why that is but there are some games here to play as well over here is the ocean reef activity center they have started a number of activities again so if you want to take advantage of that if your kids want to take advantage of activities they're doing a few they were doing actually name that tune at the pool yesterday i didn't see too many people participating and we have the marketplace over here not really all that inspiring just kind of some basic food i'm to have a counter there where you can get coffee starbucks coffee in the morning you have some artwork over here 
That's kind of neat. We'll see another one over on the other side here in just a moment. And over here they do have a kids splash pad. So if you have kids that want to come and get wet but not get in the pool, they can come and take advantage of this. Here we have the turtle's nest. This is actually where you come and exchange pool towels. You can get golf balls and putters for the mini putt that they have here that we'll take a look at in just a moment. Yeah, there's a number of activities there that you can pick up items for. And over here is where you'll find shuffleboard. So they have a couple of shuffleboard mats here. And I guess this is probably for bocce ball, maybe. I'm not exactly sure what that is for. But over here they also have mini putt. Number of putt putt holes here. Kind of goes all the way around here. This was built a few years ago, probably more years ago than I really remember. We've been coming here a long time and I remember when these were not here and then when they built them. So number of activities here, kind of central to the resort. A nice bench swing up here, kind of through this really cool path through the sea grapes. It's really neat. All right, Ooh. ah, I just hit my head. All right, time to continue on here. We're going to continue walking through the resort. Like I said, it's a big resort. We still have two more pools to take a look at. Some hot tubs, a couple fitness centers. We got a lot to do, let's get going. Okay, just continuing around here a little bit more. They do have a little practice green over here, I guess. <laughs> if you wanna practice before you start your mini putt, you can come over here. That uh, gate just out to a parking lot here. And then they have some more art here. This one, you yeah, can actually stand up there and uh, get your picture taken in the steel art. So let's continue around here some more. Another set of restrooms here. Definitely something that they have plenty of around the pool. And just over here is where you'll find a hot tub. Another nice large hot tub here at Ocean Point. Now we're coming up on the Cobia Pool. Yeah, so here is the Cobia Pool. This is kind of considered the quiet pool. It's not necessarily always that quiet, but people come down here in the mornings. They often do water aerobics down here. And people come and swim. It's a square pool, so it's a lot easier to Kind of swim some laps, but definitely a nice pool here at Cobia. And like I said, plenty of lounge chairs around here. But the lounge chairs here are actually different than the ones up at Sailfish. This so is just one last look at the Cobia pool before we head on and take a look at a few other things. Okay, we're now out in front of the Pompano building. That's this big building you see right in front of me. And over here, they actually have a fitness center. And there's another set of restrooms and locker rooms back there. We're kind of just going to walk through this little bit of a maze here. Around the Cobia pool. These pool chairs are for those enjoying that pool. Yeah, beautiful paved paths here at the resort. And over here, we have a sand volleyball court. So definitely a nice thing to have here. Looks like it's well taken care of. They've come out and raked it and nobody's played on it since. Yeah, nice sand volleyball court here. Around here, we're also gonna come across another set of gas grills over here. Actually cleaning them and checking them. And over here is the herb garden. So if you need some herbs for any cooking or grilling you're doing, you can come here, cut you off some herbs. Definitely a great feature to have here at Ocean Point. I'm just gonna head over here real quick to show you one more thing. This is kind of the south access to the beach. So if you wanna to get to the beach here and you're staying at the south end of the resort, especially the Pompano building, you're probably best to come out down here. There is a boardwalk over to the beach and like i said if you want to see that beach you want to see a lot more about the beach even how much beach chairs are 
check out that video I linked to earlier. Okay, here we are just the other side of the uh, fitness center that I showed you earlier that's in Pompano. Number of people in there, like I said, and back here, restrooms and locker rooms. So let's head out through here. We're gonna walk under the Pompano building. Just show you one more quick thing before we head over and take a look at Kingfish. Okay, just one last thing to show you here in the main section of the resort before we head over to Kingfish. Is they do have a small basketball hoop here. Nothing really fancy. Lines aren't even marked on the ground. It's actually kind of an afterthought. It's even in the parking lot. People can park their cars over here. But yeah, if you have kids wanting to play basketball or even adults, they can come down here, the south end, the far south end of the main section of the resort on the other side of the Pompano building, they can come and play basketball. Okay, so there's the main section of the resort. This resort is actually kind of split into two sections because there's also this big white building behind me. It used to be pink, but yeah, it actually kind of separates the main four buildings from Kingfish. But before we head over there, I wanna ask you if you're liking this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos. And I actually have a whole bunch of other videos about Kingfish, whether it be likes and dislikes about the beach, like I mentioned, about Kingfish even. Check out this link up here. I'll put a link to the entire playlist right up there. So now let's make our way over to Kingfish. Okay, so I'm making my way down to Kingfish. And like I said, it is a bit of a walk. You can either come out here to the street here and walk down the sidewalk, or you can take a walk down the beach, but we're walking down the sidewalk here. So we're gonna head down here a little bit more and take a look at Kingfish. Okay, so I'm now down here out in front of the Kingfish building at Marriott's Ocean Point. Like I said, there's this white building that separates this from the rest of the resort. So different building, a different experience, actually, if you're staying down in this section. And like I said, I actually did an entire video of Exiled to Kingfish back when we were here the last time. We actually stayed in this building. But we're just gonna take a walk through here. There are a few things here. They have their own fitness center. They have their own pool pool bar, everything like that. So let's go in here and take a look. Okay, so just heading inside here. So we're now out here in the parking garage under Kingfish. And like I said, they do have their own separate fitness center. This one, just a small fitness center here, not really too much. They do have a set of dumbbells, weight machine over here, number of exercise bikes, ellipticals, and treadmills in here as well. Now we're gonna head outside here. We're gonna take a walk through the pool area. All right, now we're gonna take a walk out here and take a look at the pool area. There are a couple of restrooms right here. Yeah, some pool chairs over here. And you also have the Kingfish pool. It is actually the only pool here at Ocean Point that has a zero entry area. So you can walk in nice and sloped in there. If you have kids or maybe mobility issues, definitely great thing to have here. But plenty of lounge chairs here. And just to look up there to the Kingfish building Lots of the villas from this have good views of the intracoastal waterway, the inlet where boats, yachts, and even some smaller cruise ships pass through. And there's just a, another look at the kingfish pool here. And over here is the high tides bar. Not open yet, but you can come here, grab yourself some food and snacks. But yeah, beautiful pool here at Kingfish. There's a hot tub over here, as well as a number of seating areas down through here. And there is another herb garden right here and another set of gas grills for those specifically staying in villas here in Kingfish. All right, now that we've taken a look at the Kingfish building, we're just gonna take a walk over here and take a look at the inlet. Okay, so here is the inlet. You have 
number of boats going in and out here pretty much all day long just a nice quiet peaceful place you can come down here walk along the inlet here path actually if you go over there towards the buildings over there, there's actually a path that kind of goes up and around the inlet here so definitely a nice place to come and kind of just relax and go for a nice walk okay so there you have it a tour of marriott's ocean point here in palm beach shores near west palm beach florida are you planning a trip here in the near future what do you think of this resort i'd love to hear all about it down in the comments below if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps out this video it also helps to tell youtube that you like these videos and for them to send you more just like it and if you want to see more videos all about timeshare check out the description box below for another video about Marriott's Ocean Point, check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you like that video down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a timeshare.